Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So we're off camping again today. We are headed over to Buxton this time, so a lot less uh, of a journey than when we went to Pembrokeshire the other week. And we're already, we've only, we left about 15 minutes ago. There's Al there. I, ca I can't show you him because we've got the camera set up and you, <laughs> it's just like a disembodied hand. We've got the camera set up a slightly different way, which means that I can't swing around as much as I used to. So we've literally been on the road for maybe 15 minutes and we're already in a big, massive traffic jam. So we're going to a completely new campsite today. We've never been to this one before. It's called Lime Tree Holiday Park. And to be honest, it looks quite sort of posh to, and quite sophisticated, I think, to what we're used to going to, even though we always go to lovely campsites. This one, I think, is quite a big like holiday park. So I think there's big caravans, there's big static caravans. So this is Monday today and we're going until Sunday. So it's actually quite a big jaunt this time. We've got some friends meeting us at the weekend, so that'll be really lovely. And we're hoping because the campsite is really near to Buxton, we're gonna go for a few meals, so we won't be doing as much camping, cooking this time. We're gonna try and get out a few nights to have a few nice meals in Buxton. And the other big draw about Buxton as well is that there's a lovely pub that I've never actually been to, Al has been to a few times, called the Cheshire Cheese. And it is a Titanic brewery pub so they serve all the lovely different titanic brews so i don't know if any of you have had any of them but they're really amazing real ales so look really looking forward to just going and just lining them up and drinking them all that'll be nice <laughs> Is a tent now. We finished all our beer drinking for the night. <laughs> Al is cooking some pasta. We've got a turkey chorizo and a nice sort of red sauce, so that should be nice. It's very quiet on the campsite. There's basically just us and one other tent on the site. So I'll obviously show you a little bit more of the campsite as the vlog goes on. Um, but yeah, first impressions. We've been really impressed with it actually seems to have some you know free air uh, freezers so you can do your ice blocks and stuff and there's some power points where you can you know charge stuff up and stuff and yeah it just seems like a really nice site it seems mostly to be holiday you know like the big static caravans so there's an awful lot of them so I don't know whether it gets particularly busy here for camping in the summer because there's only like a very small pot wash area but we're obviously doing a bit of an investigation of that so yeah, so we're gonna probably have our dinner and then turn in. So um, yeah, we'll see you tomorrow, bye. We had a very, very long sleep last night. <laughs> we brought the duvet this time, so it was very warm. Cause last time when we went to Pembrokeshire, it was, it was really cold. So we thought this time, even though we had the sleeping bags, we'll make sure we also bring the duvet. So we brought the duvet. Oh, it was just so comfortable. It was lovely. So yes, yeah, so we had like a mega, mega, mega long sleep. So today we got up and it was really sunny, really sunny this morning, but it's gone a bit dull today. So we changed our plans. We were going to go to Bakewell today, which I believe is a really pretty sort of little town. I've never been to it. So we've changed our plans. We're going to save that till it's a little bit sunnier. I'm going to do a walk today. So we're going to head out and do a walk called Dragons. I think it's called Dragons Back or something like that. So it's like a circular route, not very far from the campsite.
today. It's absolutely gorgeous. So we're going to go down to, uh, well, I don't know if it's down. Is it down? Across to. Across to Bakewell today. Um, because we think the weather might be slightly changing after today, so it might be a nice day to go and do it. So we're going to have a look at Bakewell, which I believe is a really pretty little town. Al went there years ago. So, And the most important thing is that it's the home of Bakewell tarts. <laughs> I think it is anyway so uh, yeah so I'm really excited to try and um, to try a Bakewell tart from Bakewell because obviously I've had loads of Bakewell tarts in the past but not particularly from its its original hometown so we're gonna have to try that today So we're back from Bakewell now. Uh, we had a really nice day actually. The sun's been absolutely cracking the flags today. So we also called into a lovely little village called Ashton in the Water, which Al had been to before. So that, that was nice. It was very sort of picturesque, very like typically English. So we had a wander around Bakewell. Um, I went on the search for the Bakewell tart and managed to find one. Ended up buying a bigger one than I, I'd sort of planned. <laughs> like a big tray one. And I feel like, oh, it was absolutely gorgeous, but I feel like there's probably about a million calories in there. So <laughs> never mind. We're eating even more food because we're going to Buxton to the Taj Mahal restaurant. Uh, it's really great like location, this site, because even though it's very peaceful and, and you feel like you're miles away from anywhere, it's only sort of 20 minutes away from um Buxton itself so it means you can walk in and kind of go to the pubs and the restaurants so you've got the best of sort of both worlds with this campsite. We started in the Pavilion Gardens in Buxton and then we started to do a nine mile walk which we didn't finish. <laughs> but we never actually intended to finish it because we didn't get up early enough. So we did about half of it. Um, it started off this morning, it was really raining and then it sort of brightened up during the day but there was quite a lot of mist around. So yeah we had to walk about a bit and then had lunch and now we've come back to the campsite and people have had the audacity to actually camp on our field. <laughs> so there's actually two other tents that have joined us, which we didn't have before. We've had the whole campsite to ourselves this week. But we did actually discover today that there is also another part to the campsite which has got the electric hookups. So it's actually a really big, kind of quite sprawling uh, site really. Our friends are coming tomorrow. So we're expecting them tomorrow evening. So that would be really nice. They're going to spend the weekend with us. And um, we've got a Thai meal booked for tomorrow night. And then we've got a meal at the Cheshire Cheese on the Saturday night, I think. And then we head home on Sunday. So tomorrow, I think we're just going to maybe have a bit of tent time because we've pretty much been on the go the whole time we've been here. So... And I don't think the weather is looking too promising either for tomorrow. So we'll maybe try and just have a bit of a chill around the campsite and have a bit of a read and stuff. We're going to have uh, a bit of a catch up with the archers because we both absolutely, absolutely love the archers, which will probably not come as a surprise to anybody. <laughs> so we're going to catch up with all the things from the archers that we've missed. So last day of the camp, 
it's actually really filling up the campsite as I'm filming this I can just see like streams of people in, in cars coming past <laughs> it's obviously a place that gets really busy at, at um, the weekend because all week there's been nobody here apart from us and now there's just like tons of tents coming so yeah it's a completely different feel so yeah we had a nice kind of um, day today we went up to Solomon's Temple which is like a really famous um, folly it is actually on a hill in Buxton so we went to have a bit of a walk up there it absolutely poured down today <laughs> it's dried up actually loads now and the kind of winds got up so it is a lot you know fresher and it does seem to be a bit drier so our friends are turning up tonight so I'm gonna end the vlog here because I don't really want to film over the weekend so the plan is that we're going to go to the Cheshire Cheese pub tonight for something to eat. I got it confused the other day. I thought we were going to the Thai, but we're going to the Cheshire Cheese tonight. And then we're going to the Thai tomorrow. So, um, yeah, it's been a really lovely week. Um, really recommend Lime Tree Holiday Park if you want to camp. So thanks for watching the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. It was another chatty one. <laughs> I'd absolutely love it if you could subscribe or, you know, like, comment. I always get back to everyone on the comments. So, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.